Hello and welcome back. In the last videos, we went through the solution of single degree of freedom systems considering no damping in the system. Under the forced vibration, uh, a harmonic load has been applied and we solved the equation. We went through two examples and also we had the model in ANSYS. One thing that was missing in the solution was that uh, we assumed that the frequency of the harmonic load is different from the uh, natural frequency of the system. And I promise that we will go through that later. This is the solution that we had. As we can see, the harmonic load frequency is 20 radian per second. And the natural frequency is far from that. It is 336. And we can see that beta is quite a small value compared to the applied load. Now let's start to play with these numbers to see how it would affect. To recap, this is the STD response. And what we see in between, these are the transient response of the system. We went through that in the other video. Uh, we can do just manipulate frequency of the system. Let's go to 50. Let's change it to 100. Let's be closer to this value. For example, let's go to 300. When beta is close to 1, perhaps more than 90%, then it starts to repeat the same pattern. This pattern is called, the, the period of this pattern is called beat and it's very important in the engineering uh, it's out of the scope of this uh, video let's continue to increase 320 we can see that the beat is repeating again and again 330 and now let's go to 336 which is very close to what we have here here you can see that the value of beta is closer to one now and you can see that the system is in resonance. The value of the deformation is constantly increasing. Let's go to five seconds to see what would happen. Here you can see that it starts to make another beat in a longer time. For example, if I go to 15 seconds, we can see that one beat is made after perhaps eight seconds something. So uh, the solution is completely for non-resonant system but if the system is going to have the same frequency of the load as the natural frequency of the system then the solution should be changed to another equation now we can go through what we had here is our solution for the previous model and now let's assume to make it simplify u0 is 0 and u dot zero is also zero so i can rewrite ut will be minus p zero divided by k beta divided by y minus beta square sinus omega t plus p zero over k one over one minus beta square sinus omega t as we know beta is omega over omega omega will be beta times omega for the solution we can start over from the beginning applying the condition that uh, frequency of the harmonic load is the same as natural frequency of the system but here we can just uh, do some tricks uh, basic mathematical tricks for like limits that we take with hospital uh, principle and find out the results so i substitute frequency of the harmonic load with beta times omega and then ut will be p0 over k times sinus beta omega t minus beta sinus omega t divided by 1 minus beta square and if beta tends to move towards 1 then we can use hospital principle then ut when beta tends to be 1 will be derivative of numerator divided by derivatives of denominator so ut will be limit p0 over k times omega t cosinus beta omega t minus 
sinus omega t divided by minus 2 beta and from here we can substitute omega as 1 and we get the results so ut will be e0 over k times omega t cosinus omega t minus sinus omega t divided by minus 2 or we can write it down this way ut equals to p0 divided by 2k sinus omega t minus omega t cosinus omega t this is the solution when we have the uh, resonance system now let's start to write down the equation for this system in our matcat now if we change the value of uh, harmonic force frequency to very close to 336.776 still you can see that we have the results however if i change this value in a way that it's exactly the same because this is not absolutely the same if i just change this value to be omega then you see that there is no solution for that as long as this beta is going to be one pure one and then one minus beta square will be zero and this equation will be completely undefined now let's have a look on what we found in the solution can bring this down and we can write u resonant as a function of t equals to p0 divided by 2 times k times sinus omega times t minus omega times t times cosinus omega times we can delete this one this one here we can just keep it as far as beta is one then we do not have anything left there and let's go up to three seconds or even two here you can see that it's going to go up to 30 millimeter in two seconds and if we go to 20 seconds we can see that it is 300 it means that the system is now resonant system and it's going to just increase the deformation through the time the problem is that uh, if you have a very brittle material like concrete and it happens to the concrete structures then as far as they are brittle after a while a sudden collapse would happen or if you have a ductile material like a steel uh, as far as the deformation is going to constantly increase then uh, the material would reach to its yielding point and after that the stiffness of the structure would drop dramatically hence this value of beta which is the ratio between uh, harmonic load frequency divided by natural frequency of the structure is very important in engineering that's the end of this uh, example we went through the solution when the resonance would happen uh, still we are in the side that we neglect any damping of the system so the damping ratio assumed to be zero and we neglected any damping in the next video i will go through the single degree of freedom system under forced vibration harmonic load but this time we will consider the value of damping thank you for watching see you next time bye